In today's video, we will see how to connect a remote Linux server via PuTTY without a password. That is a passwordless authentication method. The terminal on the right hand side is my Ubuntu SSH server. And on the left hand side, I have opened PuTTY application. So first I will find the IP address for my Ubuntu OpenSSH server. So this is my IP address. I will copy this. And then on the PuTTY application, I will paste this and we will leave the default port as 22 because SSH works on default port number 22. So we will click open and now it is asking for the username. So I will type user one, hit enter. Now it is asking for the password. So now I have connected to my Ubuntu OpenSSH server via PuTTY. So I can clear the screen and here I can do cat etc star hyphen release. And you can see this is my Ubuntu server and I have connected as user one. So next we will learn how can we log into our Ubuntu operating system via PuTTY without providing any password. For that, we require two keys. One is private key, another is public key. So the private key will remain in the PuTTY, that is in the local client. And the public key will transfer to our Ubuntu operating system. So to generate the public key and the private key, we need to install another application called PuTTYGen. Open your browser and then search for PuTTY. Hit enter and then uh, you have to go to this site, download PuTTY. Click here. And the first section you can see it says download putty. So click download putty. Then just scroll down. And here you can see putty gen. So this is a RSA and DSA key generation utility. So we will click this. And my download started. Then go to your download folder. And here you have to double click this and install this. So I'm not going to do that because putty gen is already installed on my system. After installation completed, open putty gen application and then you just need to click here generate. So this will generate a public public private key pair. So we will click generate and see here it says please generate some randomness by moving the mouse over the blank area. So we will just move the mouse here. Okay. Now here you can see my public key and private key has been generated. So in this section you can see key public key for pasting into open SSH authorized key files. So it clearly states that below is my public key and you have to paste this key into your open SSH server in the authorized underscore keys file. Okay, so we will copy the public key from here and then we will go to our open SSH server and then we will navigate to dot SSH folder. We'll do ls ltr. Here we can see our authorized underscore keys file. So we will open this file vi authorized keys and then we will edit this file and we will paste the key and then we will save and exit the file. Now the next task is to save the public key and the private key to your local machine. So first I will click this save public key. Uh, let me go inside downloads and then I will go to putty and then I will name it as id underscore public dot pub and I will save this file. Okay. Next I will save this private key. So I will click save private key and it says are you sure you want to save this key without a passphrase to protect it. So as of now it's okay. I will proceed. You can add a passphrase. So passphrase will strength your private key. So I will click yes. And then again, I will go inside download putty. And this time I will name it as uh, ID underscore private. And I will hit save. So next I will exit from this session and I will close this putty gen. I will open putty application again. So this time I will connect to my OpenSSS server via putty without any password. So for that, first I will type here the IP address for my OpenSSS server. So on my saved session, I will paste the ID and then I will go to SSH. So just expand this and then go to auth. And then here you can see browse. So you have to click this browse and then we'll go to uh, the path where we have saved the private key. So here you can see the private key. So I will double click this and the path has been added here. And next we have to go to session and then we have to select this and save this. So you saved your settings. Then just select uh, the IP address for the SSH server, load it and click open. So this time it is asking for the login credential. So we will log in as user one and then we will hit enter and see whether it is asking for the password or not. So this time you can see it has not asked for any password. So this line you can see it says authenticating with public key. Okay, so it has authenticated our login via this public key, which we have saved in our Ubuntu OpenSSH server. Thank you for your time. Hope you have enjoyed this video. 
please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button i will see you in our next video till then keep learning keep practicing and take very good care of yourself bye bye